Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm tired. I imagine that it's the middle of the week. Yes. <laughs> a lot of a lot of work. I'll, this is yes, yes. I imagine. What time do you usually wake up? Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. What time? Do you wake up in the morning? What time do you wake up? No, I, 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 I am uh, the. I was up in the at five five thirty. Every day. Every day. Oh, very early, right? Yes. Yeah, I imagine that. But is it the middle of the week? <laughs> Let's resist a little bit more. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Um, uh, how the the work? I know. I imagine um, that. Uh, and uh, for the end uh, end month. Ah, it, because of the end of the month. Yes, I am. Um, it's close harder. the month. Close, close the close the month is a, a hard. I imagine. Yeah, that used to happen. The, I think most of the jobs that used yes, to happen. The, the, the factoring, the factoring is a, a for the. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I understand. Yeah, you had to you have to do a lot of work because it's yeah. the ending of the month. Yes. I imagine. Yep, let's drink coffee. <laughs> That's going to help. Coffee. I, I, I drink coffee. Uh, for me, uh, that uh, down doesn't work. No, I um, don't. Don't sleep. Uh, ah, no me quita sueño, perdón. Ah, really? Yes. <laughs> Lucky you. If I drink coffee, for example, if I drink coffee right now, I cannot sleep. <laughs> it's, yes. it's, it's like midnight and I cannot sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being on time. I can see only two people with the camera on and the other ones. My goodness. Camera on, please. I can see Osman. Hello, Osman. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. Always uh, waiting for the class. Excellent. <laughs> That's the attitude. Yes. And let's see, let's see. I can see Carlos too. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Ready for the class? Yes. Excellent. Pretty good. All right, welcome everybody. Today is Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week. So I know that you might be tired. I know that some of you had a lot of work to do. I know, and I totally understand. So as always, let's try to participate a lot. Let's try to be active so you don't feel sleepy, okay? So the more you practice, the shorter the class will be, okay? Now, thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for keeping the camera on. That's the attitude for the other ones, guys. Camera on, please. Remember that the class is being recorded. So people from Insafor, they can watch the class. Okay, and they will see the people that is active in the class and the ones that are not. Now, uh, teacher, sorry, yes? I, I am eating right now. Okay, perfect, mm -hmm. Rafael. No worries. Thanks for informing. Okay. 
Very good. Okay, if you are eating or if you are driving, I understand, right? But if you are at home, relaxing, ready for the class, camera on. Now, do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Yes. Uh -huh. What was it? What was the topic? Uh huh. Expressions of certainty. Very good. Expressions of certainty. Mm -hmm. What else? The, the distribution channel. Very good. We talk a little bit about the distribution channels. Excellent. So, guys, always try to review the vocabulary. Okay, try to review the topics. Can you tell me? some expressions that I can use if I am certain about something? Certain. Uh-huh. I'm absolutely sure. Ah, very good. I'm absolutely sure. What else? I'm sure I have about no I have no doubt. What else? I'm sure about it. I'm sure about it. Yes. And the opposite. Can you tell me some phrases that I can use if I'm not sure? I don't think so. I don't think so. Very good. I am not 100% sure. Ah, very good. Anything else? I, I don't no... think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh huh. I am not really sure about. Very good. Excellent. Excellent, guys. I'm glad you remembered the topics and I'm glad that you remember the vocabulary. That is the attitude. Now, before starting, I just want to remind you guys that we have the platform. Have you worked on the platform? No. No? Yeah. Yes? Yes. All right. Now, yes. I'm going to share with you the platform. Look at this. Can you see the platform, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. Look, excellent job because I can see some of you started working i can see carlos it has 40 percent very good job i got well elisa is 12 so first so good you already started that's great and i have some people that have advanced a lot look at this one salvador Osman is uh, advancing a lot and I have some others like Nelson, Pamela advanced a lot, Raphael, I got Wilbur too. So guys, excellent because you already started, okay? Remember that today is Wednesday, okay? We are in the middle of the week. You need to finish the unit number one by Friday, okay? So if you haven't started, please start. I know that you are busy, that you have a lot of things to do, but remember, platform is important, okay? Okay. And remember guys, I know that sometimes there are some exercises that uh, are a little bit confusing. There are some exercises that uh, even when you put the correct answer, it's like, hey, what is happening? I don't know what the answer is. So if you have issues with one exercise, you can take a screenshot and send it in the group and I will help you. Uh, sometimes I cannot answer like immediately because sometimes I am in another class, but if your classmate already finished that exercise, you can help each other. Remember that we are a team, okay? Or if you have some doubts, you can tell me, teacher, you know what? I have a doubt with an exercise. I don't understand very well. Tell me what exercise it is. And we can check the exercise here in the class, okay? Because the idea is to work on the platform and get a good score. 
So if you have a questions about it, tell me and I'm glad to help you. Understood? Yes? Yes, I got it. Excellent. Remember guys also uh, when you cannot be in the class or if you cannot, if you are listener, you cannot pay a lot of attention to the class. Every single class is being recorded. So you can go on YouTube and you can watch the uh, video again. Or if you didn't understand very well the topic, go to Google, go to YouTube and you can watch the class again so you can understand better the topic. If there is a topic that is difficult for you um, and you want to review it, tell me. And we can take some minutes in the class to review that topic, okay? But tell me, because if you don't tell me, I'm not going to be able to know that. If you say, you know what, teacher, I have some issues with the simple present, for example. I don't remember this topic. I would like to review it again. So let's do it. I can take some minutes in the next class and review that topic, okay? But tell me, sometimes we are shy, we don't say it, and maybe all of your classmates have the same issue but nobody says anything, we don't learn, okay? So if you need help about something, just let me know. Now, let's start with today's class. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Uh, let's see, let's see, give me a second. Okay, can you see the presentation? Everybody? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is June 28th. We are in the unit one. And this is the topic for today. We are going to, uh, we are continue talking about the distribution channel for a product. Okay. This is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading it. Uh, the Distributed channel for a product. Class objective. By the end of the class, participant will be able to de decide on the most appro appropriate appropriate distribution channel for a product. That is the one. Thank you. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Okay, we are going to pretend that you are a company that you have a product and you had to tell me what do you think is the best distribution channel. So yesterday we studied some distribution channels. Do you remember them? Yes. Good. What was the first distribution channel that we studied? Good seller. Correctly. Wholesaler, what else? Direct channel. Direct and retailer, Same. very good. Can you explain me the direct channel? Mm -hmm. What is that? Is the cell face to face? Mm, okay. How many steps do I have for the product to get to the customer? I think in, in, in this channel, uh, there are two, two steps. Uh, the one manufacturer and customer. Manufacturer send the product direct to direct customer. Direct to the customer, exactly. Do you remember the examples for direct channels? Mm -hmm. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> For example, gas station. Ah, okay. Gas station is a direct channel, do you think? No. It is or not? No. No, teacher? Mm, not really, right? Not really. Because the gas station, basically, they don't manufacture the products. They just sell the product, but they don't create the gasoline. 
So Teacher, uh, when when we speak about manufacturing, um, I think maybe for example, uh, uh -huh. uh, in, in, in this in this place or store mm -hmm. or restaurant, uh, the product sells direct to customer. Yes, that's a good example of direct channel, a pupuseria, right? Why? Because they manufacture the product, they yes. make the pupusas, and they sell the pupusas directly to the customer. So basically, the manufacturer does all the job, make the pupusas and sell the pupusas. That's a good example. Restaurants, for example, that's another example. They make the food and they sell the food directly to the customers. Okay, very good. Now, what was the other channel that we have here? Do you remember? Retail channel. Ah, very good. Can you explain me what is that? Or give me examples of retail channels? Uh, for, for example, is the oil, uh, oh, uh, in my world is mm -hmm. uh, uh, La Fabril de, de Aceites. Ah. Mm -hmm. Do you manufacture uh, the product? Yes. But you don't sell it the, the, directly. Yeah. Uh, I in the product uh, the oils uh -huh. in the, the retail in the supermarket or Ah, very good. So you produce the oil and then you send this oil to the retailer, to retailer, different yes. stores. Ah, very yes. good. That's a very good example of retail channels. In this case, your company is the manufacturer. Perfect. Now, a, another example, guys, about retail channels. Teacher, in... in... The same example uh, mm -hmm. in, in my case in my, my job, uh, um, we make a t shirt, uh -huh. uh, we, we are manufacturer, and then uh, the product go to store, big, big store, mm -hmm. and then to customer. You see, that's another one, yes. that's great. I, I think it's, it's a, a good example of retail channel. It is, definitely. Now, okay. if you see, guys, that is exactly what I want. I want you to relay these topics with your job or with your daily life. And you are doing great. Excellent. Okay. In this example, the retail channels also, guys, is the ones that your classmate was mentioning about the gas station. Do you think that the gas station is a retail channel? What do you think? I think yes. If yes. Because, see, uh, because the gas station buy pipas. Yes, but they don't. Las refinerías. I don't know how how to say. Yeah, imagine in this case they are not the manufacturers. They just sell the product to the customers. Excellent. Okay, and the last one, everybody, what was the last uh, type of distribution channel that we studied? Do you remember? Oh, sell. Ah, very good. So the last distribution channel that we studied is the wholesale channels. Can you give me examples of wholesale channels? Mm -hmm. For example, a supermarket. A supermarket. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? For example, and the uh, different companies uh, dedicate the distribution, the produce in supermarket mm -hmm. is a good seller because the the buy the produce a uh, manufacturer and distribution in the supermarket. Ah, very good. Customer, it's a distributor. 
Very good. Exactly. If you see in this case, especially guys, those big supermarkets, they are not the manufacturer, right? They sometimes buy the product to a wholesaler and then they just sell the product to the customer. Very good example. Now, if you see, yeah. uh -huh. uh, the, the Coca Cola. Oh, uh, that will be wholesale channels. In this case, La Constancia, right? That's an example of that. And if you see La Constancia, do they make the product? No. In this case, for example, Coca Cola is the manufacturer, right? La Constancia is the wholesaler, and then they distribute the product to different stores, can be supermarkets, big or small retailer, and then they sell it to the customer. That is an example of health, a wholesale channel. Very good job. So, is it clear? Uh-huh. Product, -huh. uh, Diana? Hmm. What do you think? Is that wholesale channel? Was channel? It is? Let's Manufacture. think about it. Okay, Diana, they manufacture the product. Manufacture the product. Yes, and then? And, and hold it in the, 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 the supermarket or, or... Well, I think in this case, Diana will be retail because retail. remember that they manufacture the product and then they distribute the product to different retailer. It can be to different supermarkets or to different retailer stores and they sell it to the customers. Oh, okay. But that is a good example too. Very good job. So everybody, is it clear the difference between the type of distribution channels? Yes? yes. Any questions so far? I'm sure. I have yes. a question. Go ahead. Uh, dealer and wholesaler is the same thing? Which one? Dealer. Dealer. Mm, I don't know what is that. How do you spell that? Um, I write that. I write in the chat. Okay. Please. Yeah, because I, I, I'm not sure what is the word that you're talking about. Okay, dealer. Okay, let's see. Hmm, well, it depends. We have to see the definition. Let's search for it. Let's go to find the definition for dealer. Okay, according to the definition, dealer is like a distributor. It's a person or business that buy and sells good. In this case, actually, yeah, it could be a synonym of wholesaler. Because remember that wholesaler is a person who sells product in a buck, in a big amount, and they sell it. In this case, dealer, it will be a synonym for wholesaler. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Because in my in my work, uh, mm -hmm. we use a dealer. Ah. And in the classes, I I heard for first time uh, the wholesaler. Ah, okay. Look at this one. Uh, I'm checking the difference between dealer and wholesaler. Look, a dealer's buy from a distributor or wholesaler. Look at the difference. Ambos compran y venden productos como en grandes cantidades. Ahora, look at according to this definition, el dealer le compra productos a quien? Look. Wholesaler. Al wholesaler. So, according to this definition, that this is um, a definition for, for a dictionary, right? According to that. Eh, hmm. What I understand is this, quizás el wholesaler es un poquito más grande, right? Mm. And the dealer hace la misma función, pero en una cantidad un poquito más pequeña. I think that that is the only difference, but they I are confused. almost synonyms. 
I am okay. confused because uh, we are a dealer of mm -hmm. caterpillar. Okay. In the in the country. Mm, okay. Look at this one. Mm, because there is not another definition, basically. I consider, guys, that they are similar, like synonyms, because look at the definition. It's a person or a business that buys and sells products, sells good. So, si se fijan la definición entre dealer y wholesaler, well, basically is the same, comprar y distribuir en, a los productos. That is the thing. That is what they do. So, yo consideraría dealer and wholesaler as synonyms. Okay. okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Okay, before continue, everybody, I'm going to check attendance. And guys, I still see some of you don't have the camera on. Now, uh, important, everybody, before continue, remember the attendance is important. Okay, um, I can see some people mm, miss some classes. So, guys, if you have an emergency or because of work or because you are driving, remember that you can always can connect as a listener, okay? If you are driving, connect as a listener while you are driving. And when you get home, you can start to participate in the class, but try to connect so you don't miss minutes and your attendance won't be affected, okay? Now, when you listen to your names, stay present. Um, Anna Lorena, oh, she's listener. Okay, no worries. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Boris, you didn't, you, you weren't here in the class yesterday, right? Mm, yes, I am. Uh, I, I am driving yesterday. Uh, you know, okay. I drove, drove yesterday. Okay. It, uh, I I I write I wrote in, in the chat. Uh -huh. the, yeah, that you couldn't be here in the class. I remember. Mm -hmm. So and that happens, guys. And I want to be clear with this. Um, la asistencia se genera con Zoom. Eh, yo les puedo poner que asistió, pero como Zoom va a dar los minutos. Zoom siempre va a decir así como que zero, right? Yo le puedo ahí, yo siempre coloco el comentario, like, él informó, right, that he was driving, or because of the job, or because he was sick. Yo coloco el comentario, but in the end, como Zoom genera los minutos, siempre va a aparecer like zero. That's why I always make an emphasis. Si se pueden conectar como listeners, do it, okay? para que su asistencia no se vea afectada y así no vayan a tener problemas con los de Insafor. ¿Ok? Uh, yo no lo, no lo hice por, por el, el comentario que mandó el compañero, que, que era obligación mantener la, la cámara encendida. Ah, no, el it no. is. Look, de hecho sí, y quiero aclarar no. esto, sí es importante la cámara, de hecho es an obligation, but... Prefiero, si en algún momento, guys, for real, is you are driving, you cannot participate, but connect, always. And as your classmate, eh, a veces su classmate no está participando y colocan entre paréntesis en su nombre, listener. Ok, so con eso ya nos da una prueba de que ustedes están aquí en la clase, tienen la cámara apagada porque están como listeners. That it's maybe you got an emergency or maybe you are working, but even though you are here. Así que la próxima vez, if you have an issue, guys, si tienen un inconveniente, pueden hacerlo. Ok, okay thank but you. you're welcome. But listen, queda un registro de todas las veces que son listeners, así que no abusemos, que sea solo cuando de verdad lo amerite. No es que, ay, hoy no quiero la clase. I will be listener. Mm -mm. That is not acceptable. Got it? Yes? Pretty good. Okay, let's continue. Um, let's see. Oh, check in attendance. Carlos Alberto. Present. Very good. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present. Very good. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. All right. Eulises Torres. 
present. All right. Uh, Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel Torres. Do you know him, guys? Do you know Jose Miguel Torres? Yes, no. I have never seen him in the class. Well, um, Jose Salvador. I'm here. Very good. Josman Atilio. Present. All right. Kevin Alfredo. Present. All right. Nelson Alberto. Present. Perfect. Um, Osman Enrique. Present. All right. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Santiago Roberto. Santiago Roberto. What about him? Do you know him? No? Yeah, I don't know who they are. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, he... He studied with us in module three and uh, always be in class. Oh, really? I don't know what happened. Yeah, well, and Wilber Alfredo? Alberto. Oh, Present. yes, I'm sorry, my bad. Yes, Wilber Alberto. Thank you. Okay, perfect, guys. Let's continue then. We already review uh, the distribution channels. So, also yesterday, we were talking about the expressions of certainty. As you mentioned before, we expressed certainty like, yes, I'm certain, or I'm 100% certain. I'm absolutely sure. I have no doubt about it, or I'm sure about it. But if it is the contrary, if I don't know, or if I don't, if I'm not pretty sure, we can use the phrases like, I'm not sure about it. I'm not really sure. Mm, I don't know for sure. I don't think so. I'm not a hundred percent sure, or just, I don't know yet. Yesterday we were practicing some questions. Do you remember these questions? Yes? Do you remember these questions or not? Oh my goodness. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. Now, I will interview you, okay? I will ask you the same questions, but I want you to answer using the expressions of certainty, okay? Let's see, let me start with, I'm going to ask the people with the camera off. <laughs> so, Carlos Alberto, hello, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, are you there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher, please moment. Okay, no worries. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to ask to, 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 to Kevin, Kevin Alfredo. Hello, Kevin. I'm going to turn my camera to avoid <laughs> the question. <laughs> Too late, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let me ask you, um, Kevin, what do you think? Will humans ever meet aliens? Mm. I'm not a hundred percent sure because uh, on the TV I can see programs and 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 they say uh, the alien exists. Mm. And what do you think? Do you think that they are telling the truth? I I I think that I can meet with the aliens some <laughs> days in the future. Someday in the future. Ah, and would you like to meet aliens? Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I would like I I would like uh -huh. uh, to know about the the aliens and and other things. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Pretty good. Thank you, Kevin. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, I think I'm going to go on the letter N. N. 
Anne. <laughs> Nelson. Ah, Nelson. Thank you. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Okay, Nelson, tell <laughs> me, um, what do you think? Who will win the next World Cup? Remember, in this question, guys, we are talking about soccer, okay? Yeah, I'm not sure about it, but uh, I would like to win the next World Cup. Mm, France. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Mm, because uh, mm, mm, I like this uh, selection. Team? Oh, the team. I like this team. And the other team could be um, Croatia. Ah, okay. I thought you nah. would say El Salvador. Come no, on. come on. Let's be optimist. No. Nah. <laughs> Okay, pretty good. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you. Okay, uh, pick one of your classmates, please. A victim. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Someone that hey, is like smiling. Ah, hello, Elise. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Okay, Elise, tell me, will it rain tomorrow? What do you think? Uh, it's about rain. Mm -hmm. Will it rain tomorrow? Uh, um, I'm not sure about, but uh, there are a big possibility. That possibility? Possibility uh -huh. that uh, tomorrow it will rain. All right, that's great. How about tonight? Will it rain uh, tonight? Tonight, also, it's a big possibility that's uh, raining because the sky is black or not obscure. Like cloudy? Cloudy, yes. Ah, okay, pretty good, excellent. Okay, okay pick someone, please. Rafael. Thank you. Hello, Rafael. <laughs> what will you do Pizza. this weekend? Ah. Uh, can you repeat, please? What will you do this weekend? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Well, uh, maybe. Uh, I'm going to ride uh, to, San, to Santa Ana, maybe. Okay. To visit my mother. Sounds good. Will you take a shower? Um, yes. Are you sure? He, he is, he is um, 100% sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Uh, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Um, let me see. Um, Jose Salvador Bernal. Thank you. Hello, Salvador. Hello, teacher. Okay. Tell me, Salvador, will you have an English exam this week? Repeat, please. Will you have an English exam this week? I, I, I haven't. You don't? Exam this week. Are you sure? Absolutely. Mm. Surprise. <laughs> okay, guys, let me tell you that. I have a gift for you. Surprise. <laughs> Let's see, Salvador. Um, will you drink coffee tomorrow morning? Salvador, will you drink coffee tomorrow? I don't like coffee. <gasps> no way, really? <laughs> okay. 
puntos menos, right? <laughs> okay. Um, will you will you go to work tomorrow? Will you go to work? I am short about it. Okay. Ah, very good. That's excellent. So guys, I wanted to use the phrases. If you don't use the phrases, I will continue asking questions. Okay, Salvador, pick one of your classmates, please. Elias Neptali. All right. Hello, Elias. Hi, teacher. Tell Hi, me, what will you do on your next birthday? <laughs> well, it's... Tomorrow is my birthday. No way, really? I am 100% that I want to work. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty sad. Uh, but Elias, is that true? Tomorrow is your birthday? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Guys, let's have a party. <laughs> no. Congratulations, buddy. A virtual Thank party. <laughs> virtual party. So virtual <laughs> virtual cake. Virtual uh, no. virtual pizza. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, let's see, let's see. I need the last one. Elias, can you pick um, the last one? Anna? Um, Anna in this moment is a listener. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, Kevin? Kevin, Kevin. Oh, Kevin again? He already participated. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Another. Uh, you sorry. can pick Boris, sorry. Osman, yeah, Pamela. Carlos, Pamela. Sorry. Pamela, when is your birthday? My birthday was on May 23. Ah, okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry. I... <laughs> okay. But for your next birthday, what will you do? Um, I don't know yet, but I think I will celebrate with my family and friends. All right. On my, on my last, last birthday, I I went to the beach <laughs> oh, with my friends. So that sounds maybe, great. Yes, maybe my next birthday I'm going to celebrate in another way. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Excellent. Okay, pick the last one, please. Um. Hosman, Hosman, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What will you do after the class today? Um, I will sleep. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I they uh, I'm very uh, tired and more job in, in today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, will you brush your teeth? Yeah. Uh, every day, uh, begin, uh, uh, begin a sleep. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm, okay, okay. Husband. Okay. Uh, you are always saying, yeah. Let's try to use the phrases like, yes, I'm absolutely um, sure. Sorry. Yes, I'm certain. Ah, uh, that is the one. Excellent. Okay, guys. Um, if you see, this is the way that I want you to answer when you feel sure about it or when you don't feel sure about it. Okay? Those are some phrases that you can use every day. So if I ask you something like, are you sure? Okay, you can answer. Ah, yes, I'm absolutely sure. Or, eh, I don't know for sure, teacher. 
or I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, but let's try to use the vocabulary so you don't forget it. Okay. Now, always talking about uh, certainty expressions, there are other phrases or other words that you can use. This information is in your manuals in the page 12. So everybody, let's go to the page 12. But before that, imagine if I say I haven't, uh, let's see, exam today. I have an exam today. Can I say that? This is like, no tengo examen hoy. So can I say that? I have an exam. Yes or not? I think that <clears throat> is, I don't have exam today. Very good. So guys, remember, if you want to say the negative of no tengo, in that case, we say I don't have always. I don't have money. I don't have time. Uh, I don't have a car. I don't have a dog. So if it is the negative, add don't. If you say haven't, Eso es otro tiempo gramatical, ¿ok? Así que mm -mm, we cannot say haven't, we have to say don't have. Clear? Yes? Yes, clear. Excellent. I have a question. Go ahead. So when I see some expression with have not in we some emails, like this, have not or have not? Without, without it. This one? Another one, have not. Oh, this one? Yes, without T, letter T. Like this? Right. Yes. Okay, but what is the full sentence? Uh, so when I... Someone want to say don't have any things. Uh, for example, I I have an uh, email when a client says I have no idea or I have no any item. Okay, in these cases, guys, we can say like some people say I have no idea. Um, it is not the correct expression, but some people say it, right? Remember that we are trying to learn the language in the most appropriate way. Yes, there are people that says, I have no idea, because that is like a common expression. But for a negative sentence, we always say don't. Okay, this is when we are talking about expressions of possession. Cuando estamos hablando de posesivos, de un objeto que tenemos, and if you want to say it in negative, is don't. When we are talking about it specifically, this phrase is like, I have no idea. So yeah, it's very common to see it. It's not the correct one, but some people say it, unfortunately. Okay. Está, está como culturizado en el norte. Yeah, basically. And guys, believe me, there are some phrases that grammatically, it is not correct. And that happens here in Spanish. <laughs> in Spanish, there are many phrases that we say that grammatically are not correct. Okay. But everybody says those phrases. But the idea is we need to try to learn it the best as possible okay got it yes any other questions that you may have okay let's continue with the certainty phrases uh, this is in your manual guys look at this box we use these expressions to show certain or that you are sure or that you feel sure about an action or 
event. So let's learn some of these phrases. I need a volunteer, please, for reading this sentence. Expressions of certainty. 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 April before the May verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. Thank you. Look at these ones. We are going to learn some specific words and we are going to learn what is the correct position inside of the sentence. So the first word that we have here is certainly. What is the position in the sentence? It says that appears, look, before the main verb. Okay, but after the auxiliary, what does it mean? If I have a verb, in this case, the verb we have here, coming. So I need it before the verb. Then in the other one, I have another word that is obviously. I need to put the word again before the verb. For example, the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. What am I saying here? What is the meaning of this sentence? The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. What is that? ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? El inversionista seguramente viene mañana. Seguramente o 100%. O Excelente. Certeramente yeah. viene, viene mañana. Es seguro, right? That is Con certeza. Exactly. That is coming tomorrow. You are a hundred percent sure. So pay attention. If you have the verb to be, remember the verb to be always goes first. But if you have a different verb, the word is before. Look at the second sentence. The managers obviously chose the whole sales approach to distribution. What is the meaning of obviously? Um, obviamente. Obviamente. Ah, that represents certain. Okay, let's imagine another sentence with certainly. For example, I can say, teacher, um, tomorrow or tonight, imagine tonight, I certainly, uh, let's see, work on the platform, <laughs> okay? What am I saying here? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Yo ciertamente trabajaré en la plataforma. Ah, that's correct, teacher. I'm 100% sure that I'm going to work on the platform, okay? Or another sentence. Um, I obviously um, brush my teeth every day. What am I saying there? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? I obviously brush my teeth every day. Obviamente lavo mis dientes cada día. Every day, exactly. So you are a hundred percent sure. Now, if I want to use the verb to be, how can I say the next sentence? Eh, yo obviamente estoy muy feliz. How can I say that? I obvious. I obviously. Uh huh. Oops. Uh, I am teacher. I am. Ah, that is I important. Am. I don't know where I'm going to be. Ah. I am, I am obviously. obviously happy very good that is what i want you to see okay the verb to be goes before i cannot say i obviously 
am happy. Mm -mm, that is not sure. possible. Uh huh. Sure. Um, it's good. Uh, I am obviously very happy. Yes, or, of course. Look. Yes. Yes, you can say that. Oh. Mm -hmm. But important, guys, if you have the verb to be, put the verb to be before. If you have another verb, look, the verb goes after. Got it? Is it clear? Yes. Sure. Okay, take note because we are going to use it. If you have the verb to be, the verb to be goes before. If you have another verb, put it after. Now, is it clear the meaning of certainly and obviously? Yes? Okay, let's see some other expressions. We can also look, use another ones. Uh, I need a volunteer for reading the sentences, please. In class, of course, in, and in a likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. Thank you. Okay, another expression that you can use to show certainty is, of course. What is the meaning of, of course? Por supuesto. Very good. What is the meaning of in all like, uh, likelihood? What is that? In all likelihood. I'm sorry, that is a pronunciation. Likelihood. What is that? Have you ever seen that word? What is it? No? Okay, in all likelihood, it can be translated like um, con toda probabilidad or when we say lo más probable. Imagine that I ask you guys, what do you think? It is going to rain today? So you can say, I think, coma, in all likelihood, Coma again, it will rain tonight. So if I put this expression in the middle of the sentence, I need to add commas. Is it clear? Obviously guys, this is important when you are writing. When we are speaking, I mean, we don't use commas when we are speaking. So it is important to use it when we are writing. It's the same with the word, of course, okay? If I ask you guys, will you work on the platform? So you can say, teacher, comma, of course. In all likelihood. <laughs> Ah, very good, teacher. In all likelihood, I will work but on I the platform. But I promise you. <laughs> My goodness. Look, so when you are writing, you need to put the phrases between commas. Is it clear? Yes? Is it clear the meaning yes. of the words? Yes? Any questions so far? No questions? Are you sure? You sure? What, what, what do you mean in, in of life on who? Oh, this is like when we say lo más probable, right? Or when we say con toda probabilidad. That is the translation. Lo más probable, or when we say con toda probabilidad. So basically, guys, of course, and in all likelihood, they are just synonyms. Okay? Now, we already studied four words. What was the first word? Do you remember? Uh, Sir? So... Certainly. Certainly. What was the second one? 
obviously. Very good. Now we have, of course, and in all likelihood. So far so good? Yes? So, using negative form? It's basically the same. But remember, guys, that these expressions is when you are certain. Most of the time, we have to use it for affirmative sentences. Mm -hmm. Because imagine, no tendría mucho sentido decir, eh, no creo que con toda posibilidad voy a trabajar en la plataforma. So, mm, like, doesn't make sense. We have negative, and then we are using a phrase that represents certain. So, si no vamos a hacer algo, if the sentence will be in negative, en ese caso usamos phrases de uncertainty. Later, we are going to learn more phrases of certainty. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Okay, let's move on. Let's have some other phrases. Take note, please, because we are going to use it. Now, uh, I need another volunteer, please, for reading. Sometimes expression of certainty can be... Can be? Can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. Thank you. Now, we already checked that we can put the, sent uh, the phrase in the middle of the sentence. But also, guys, we can put it at the beginning, okay? For example, surely, comma, the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. What is the meaning of surely? What do you think? Uh, seguramente. Yes, or ciertamente. Right? So again, this is when you feel sure about it. Imagine if I ask you guys, what will you do after the class? Okay, surely, coma, um, eh, I'm going to sleep. What am I saying there? What is the translation? Seguramente yo voy a dormir. Exactly. Or, oh, in this case, it's future. So, seguramente me voy a dormir. Or, ciertamente me voy a dormir. Okay? So, we are expressing certainty. Now, look at the difference. And this is what I want you to see, guys. If you put the phrase, si ponemos la expression the certainty in the middle of the sentence, look, hay que cuidar que vaya después del verbo to be, o si es otro verbo, tiene que ir antes del otro verbo. Si ponemos la frase at the beginning of the sentence, I mean, se puede, solo recuerden agregar una coma. coma. Simple. Also, we can use another phrase, doubtless. What do you think? What is that? Doubtless. Doublets. Sin duda. Exactly. When you say doubtless, that means that you don't have doubts. Again, imagine if I say, eh, what will you do tomorrow? Okay. So you start the sentence and says, doubtless, I will eh, go to work, for example. Or doubtless, I'm going to wake up early. Uh, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. repeat the, the mean the doubts. Sin duda, like no, no doubt. doubt. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. You are a hundred percent sure. So imagine if I ask you guys, what are your plans for the weekend? Ah, oh, teacher, doubtless, I am going to eat pizza what am i saying there what is the translation of this sentence mm -hmm. comer pizza sin duda 
Exactly, that's the one. So just remember, if you put it at the beginning, don't forget the comma. In this now, case, teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. In this case, uh, in the sentence that you wrote, uh, you uh, delete. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, in Spanish, uh, uh -huh. como decimos, no, uh, esta semana voy a comer pizza sin duda alguna. Uh, yes. That's a good translation, actually. Sin duda alguna. Mm -hmm. Pero no le agregamos nada en, en el, aquí en el inglés. Not really, not really. Remember, guys, that uh, we don't always translate literal. We have to translate it the way that we speak in Spanish. Uh, in this case, si lo traducimos literalmente, doubtless is like sin duda. That's it. But in Spanish, no siempre decimos sin duda voy a comer pizza. No, nosotros decimos sin duda alguna, right? So the translation is the same. Ya sea que digamos sin duda o sin duda alguna, siempre significa doubtless. Okay? Okay, thank you. Excellent. All right. Now, guys, how many words do we have already? What was the first one? Certainly. Certainly. What was the second one? Obviously. 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 And then? Surely. Always. Yeah. Surely, but before surely? <laughs> of course. Of course. And? In all likelihood. In all likelihood. Surely. And after surely? Doubtless. Doubtless. That is the one. Excellent. Okay. The last uh, position in the sentence that we can use with these expressions is the following. I need a volunteer for reading, please. This expression can also be used at the end of a sentence. Thank you, exactly. Ya vimos, guys. Podemos ponerla in the middle. We can put it at the beginning and also we can send it at the end, all right? How, for example, partnering with a retailer will help us reach many customers, coma, obviously. So you see, if you put it at the end, just don't forget to add a coma before the word. If I ask you, okay, guys, um, let's see, what will you do tomorrow afternoon? Ah, tomorrow in the afternoon, teacher. Let's see, tomorrow I will uh, drink coffee, <laughs> okay, with bread, coma, and then obviously, okay? Instead of obviously, we can also use certainly. Ah, tomorrow I will sleep in the afternoon, certainly. So you can set the expressions at the end of the sentence. Just don't forget to add a comma. Got it? Yes? Is it clear, everyone? Okay, let's see. Let me ask you guys, um, what will you do um, on Saturday morning? Tell me a sentence and put the expression at the end. Can you give me examples? What will you do on Saturday morning? What do you think? Think about I'm it. going to rest, obviously. Very good. I'm going to rest, coma, and then obviously. That's an excellent example. Another one, please. What will you do on Saturday morning? What will you do? Teacher, it, it... It's correct to say, uh, 
on Saturday, I I'm obviously going to re, uh, going to work. Ah, Saturday okay. Look at this one. Yes, look at this. On Saturday, I'm going to work, mm -hmm. and then Obvious. obviously, obviously. Look, yeah, we can say that. Why not? Okay. The idea is to put the phrase, the certainty phrase, at the end. There's no problem at all. Is it clear, guys, how we can use it? Yes? Is it clear? Yes. Questions? No yeah. questions? Okay, ready for the picture? Sure. Uh, other, other example? Example? Other example, on Saturday, I am going to find my house, obviously. That's it, yes. Nice, you are giving good examples. Don't forget the position of the expressions, okay? Now, there are some other phrases that we can use, guys. And I have here different words. You have to tell me which of these phrases or which of these words represent certainty and tell me which of these words represent uncertainty. So what do you think? Certainty, which ones? Naturally. Which one? Naturally. Naturally, okay. Possibly. Okay, naturally, possibly. Certainly. 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 Of course. Of course. Of course. Obviously. 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 Doubtless. Doubtless. Okay, but uncertainly, do you think that mm, I have my doubts with possibly? What do you think? Really? If you are not sure about it, when you are not sure, which phrases can you use? If you are not sure, uncertainly, what do you think? Supposedly. Supposedly. Mm -hmm. Probably. Okay, but where is it? Probably. Oh, probably. probably. Yes. Mm. Apparently. Presumably. Apparently, presumably. Look. So for certainty, remember that certainty, you are 100% sure. So you can use certainly, naturally, of course, obviously, or doubtless. Uncertainty expressions is supposedly, right? Well, supposedly we are not going to have an exam, <laughs> okay? Or Possibly it will rain tonight. Probably I will sleep late. Or apparently tomorrow eh, I will go to work. So this is like you are not pretty sure. So copy these phrases because we are going to use it right now. Okay. Copy the certainty and uncertainty words. You can take a screenshot or you can write it down. Do it because we are going to use it right now. You ready? Yes. Yes, everybody, did you copy them? Yes. Yes? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Right now we are going to have a written activity. Okay. In these moments, you have to respect the rules that we just studied and you have to write, well, it says uh, five sentences. Mm, I'm going to put it easy. Okay. Let's write only three. Okay. Only three easier, okay? You have to answer the following questions. What are your plans for the weekend? 
That is the question. What are your plans for the weekend? What will you do? I want you to write three sentences using the phrases. Again, you can use the ones that you prefer. You can use certainly, naturally, of course, obviously, doubtless, okay? If you are not sure about your plans, you can use the ones for uncertainly. Listen, la posición de estas palabras en la oración es la misma, ya sea que usemos la certainty or uncertainty expressions. I will give you an example. Uh, what are your plans for this weekend? Okay, if you are 100% sure, Okay, let's use the phrases. Remember, you can put the phrases at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Let's use a, obviously. I will use obviously, but I will use it at the end of the sentence. Okay, my plans for this weekend. Um, I... Mm -mm, let's see. I have a lot of things to do. Mm, but I will uh, watch a movie. Obviously. Okay, look. I'm writing at the end. So I'm adding a comma. If I want to put this phrase at the middle, it's the same sentence, but look at the difference. If I put it in the middle, I can say, okay, I have a lot of things to do, but I will obviously watch a movie. Or I can put the phrase at the beginning. Oops, let's see, sorry, I erase it. If I put it at the beginning, I will say, obviously, comma, I will watch a movie. Even when I have a lot of things to do, okay? Look, fíjense en las diferentes posiciones en las que puedo colocar esta frase. Puedo colocarla at the end, but if you put it at the end, don't forget the comma. If you put it in the middle, la palabra obviously no necesita ir en medio de comas. La que necesita ir en medio de comas is of course or in all likelihood. And I can put it at the beginning, obviously, and then comma. ¿Se entiende? Yes. Pueden colocar la frase, guys en la posición que ustedes quieran. Ahora, van a contestar esa pregunta. What are your plans for the weekend? Escriban tres oraciones. Of course, tres oraciones diferentes, ¿ok? Y en cada oración utilicen una palabra diferente. Si en la primera oración ya usaron obviously, ¿ok? In the second sentence, you have to use another one. And in the third sentence, you have to use Another one. ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes. Teacher, have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, uh, uh, we can put in beginning. At the beginning, yes, you can do it. Thanks. Just don't forget to add a comma if you put it okay. at the beginning. Now, guys, okay. you have to write three sentences, and these sentences you are going to send. Oops, let me change the color. Send the sentences on WhatsApp group. Ok. Para poder revisar sus oraciones, necesito que las envíen on WhatsApp group y cuando las envíen, add your names. Ok. Yo no tengo sus números registrados, así que no voy a saber de quién es. Así que add your names. But listen, no me vayan a enviar una por una. Escriban las tres oraciones, escriben su nombre y lo envían todo en un solo mensaje. ¿Ok? Ok. This activity is for right now. <laughs> so everybody, let's do it. Do the sentences right now. Only three guys, only three sentences. 
tell me what are your plans for this weekend? Be careful with the spelling, okay? Don't forget comas. And remember, use different words. You can put it at the beginning, in the middle, or in the end. For this activity, I will give you five minutes, okay? But everybody send the sentences. Go ahead. If you have a question, please just let me know. Send the sentences on WhatsApp's group. You have five minutes, go ahead. If you have questions, just let me know, please. I can see two people already sent the sentences. Excellent, very good. I will up uh, for a moment, teacher. Okay. I will be checking your sentences and if you got uh, some issues, I will give you a feedback. So pay attention to it, please. I can see three people already sent the sentences. I can see very good sentences, guys. Very good job. I like that. Very good sentences, excellent.
Okay, I like the sentences. I can see that you are respecting punctuation. Nice job, very good. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Very good. So for the ones that are already finished, easy or difficult, what do you think? Uh-huh. Easy or difficult to write the sentences? Easy. Excellent, very good. So you see, it's pretty easy. And the way that we write it, that is the same way, the same position that we reply when we speak. It's basically the same. Very good job. Send the sentences, everybody. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. I can see one, two, three, four, five people already finished. Okay, very good job. Let's wait for the other ones. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Nice, very good sentences, everyone. I like that. Remember that in each sentence, you can use a different word, okay? The idea is to use different vocabulary so you can memorize all of those words. Very good, I can see them. I like those sentences. Excellent. I can see, guys, you are very good at writing. Which one do you feel that is more difficult, writing or speaking? I think it's speaking. It's speaking. speaking? Yeah, okay. Because you need to be more fast. Certainly. <laughs> Certainly. Ah, thank speaking. you, Ms. But <laughs> for me, but. Both? What yes. In this case, guys, remember that one of the advantages for writing is that you have more time to think. You have more time to organize your ideas. So maybe that's why it is a little bit easier. But you have to be careful with the spelling. Sometimes that is difficult. Okay, let's see. I'm reading some of your sentences. Let's see.
All right. So we are going to continue. If you haven't sent uh, the sentences, guys, do it, please. Everybody has to do the activity, please. Some of you haven't finished. Well, let's see. I think that most of you already sent it. If you have some mistakes, I already uh, sent the feedback. So check your answers, guys. If you got a mistake, just be careful and let's fix it. For example, if I'm talking about days of the week, can I say in Monday, for example? Yes or no? In Monday? What do you think? Can I say that? On Monday. Ah, very good. Remember, when I say days of the week, I always use the preposition on. For example, on Monday, on Friday, on Saturday. Now, if I'm talking about the weekend, can I say in the weekend? Yes or no? What do you think? In the weekend? Yes. Are you sure? No. Yes. On weekend? On weekend. Ah, look, we cannot use in. The mm, correct okay. preposition is? On the weekend. On okay. the weekend. Okay. Or if you are using British English, we can say at, at the weekend or on the weekend. Both are correct, but you can never use in. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, guys, very good uh, writing. If you haven't sent the sentences, do it, please, or you can do it after the class. There's no problem at all. I will read them. Any questions so far, guys, about how we can use these certainty expressions? Questions? Yes? Nope? It's clear so far. Excellent, that's the attitude. Okay, now guys, we are going to continue. We are going to have another activity, but before that, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto? Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Ernesto? Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Excellent. Eulises Torres. Present. Very good. Jose Miguel. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Josman Atilio. Present teacher. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Present. All right. Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Um, Osman Enrique. Present. All right. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Um, let's see, let's see. Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent, pretty good. All right, now guys, we are going to continue. If you remember today, the topic was distribution channel for a product, okay? So now we are going to apply the knowledge that we already get. We are going to work in teams, 
okay? And I want you guys to imagine that you are going to start your own business, okay? Imagine that you and your friends, you are going to create a new business. Which business? I don't know, invent. Pretend that you will sell a, a product or I don't know, invent. Now, I want you to tell me what your product will be. You can tell me, you know, teacher, we are going to have a, a shoes. Okay, if you want to, if that is your product, perfect. Or no teacher, my product will be pupusas. Okay, pupusas. Or no, we are going to have coffee. That is our product. Perfect, the product that you prefer. It can be food, drink, clothes, shoes, or electronic devices, whatever you want, okay? So you have to tell me what is the product and then I want you to tell me what distribution channels will you use, okay? For example, uh, imagine that I want to have my own business, okay? I want to sell, um, let's see, dogs food okay i like dogs i'm going to sell dogs food the first aspect that i have to consider is am i the manufacturer in my case i'm not a manufacturer okay so i need a manufacturer I am, the second point that you have to consider is, what is your function? In my case, I am a, a retailer store, okay? So I have, a, I have a store, it's not so big. It's a small store, it's just to sell the product here in my city, okay? So according to this information, what do you think, guys? What is the best distribution channel for me? What do you think? I have a mini store. It's a little small here in my city. So I'm not the manufacturer. I need to buy the product. So according to this information, what do you think? What is the best distribution channel that I can use? Uh, Retail. Retail. Why? Mm -hmm. Be Why? Because you you buy to the manufacturer and then you sell uh, the consumer. Ah, very good. Okay, so I will need a retail channel. Why? Well, because I need to buy the product to the manufacturer. When I have the product, I'm going to sell the product directly to my customer. So that's why I need retail channel. So exactly like this is the ones that I want you to do. Pick a product. What product will you have? you have to decide what is the correct distribution channels that you will use and explain me the reason why. Pay attention. En esta activity, ustedes tienen que pensar cuál va a ser su función dentro del negocio. Van a ser ustedes manufacturers? Van a ser los manufacturers y van a vender el producto también o solo lo van a hacer? Or, Pueden tener la función de solo vender el producto. So remember that when we are talking about distribution channels, podemos tener diferentes funciones, right? Así que cuando decidan su business, tienen que pensar, mm, ok, voy a ser el manufacturer y voy a vender el producto. So manufacturer and seller, o voy a ser solo el manufacturer. 
or puedo ser solo el retailer. Or puedo ser el wholesaler. I don't know. Eso es lo que tienen que pensar. ¿Qué tipo de negocios van a poner? ¿Cuál es su función dentro del negocio? ¿Y ¿Qué tipo de channel you will use? ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes. yes. Everybody, ¿se entiende? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes. Van a estar en grupos. So we are going to work in teams. Quiero que sea un business interesante. Ok. Y vamos a presentar la información en la clase. Eso lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Tenemos 20 minutes to do it. Ok. So everybody, try to think fast. Sometimes we spend a lot of time thinking about the product. So let's try to think fast. So we don't have problems with the timer. Now, um, the ones who has the camera off. Necesito saber si los que tienen la cámara off van a participar. Porque si no, I mean, tengo que crear los grupos. In this moment, only one person says that is listeners. And the other ones, will you participate or not? I need you to I'm tell going me. going to participate, teacher. Excellent. That's the attitude. And the other ones, will you participate? Yes, teacher, I'll participate. Okay, cool. Oh, Anna, you're here. Welcome to the class. <laughs> okay, so everybody's going to participate? Pretty good. That's the attitude, guys. Okay, we are going to go to work in teams, and then every team will present the information. Okay, todos tienen que entender cuál es el producto, la función, y el distribution channel. Okay, let's go to work, everybody, and remember zero Spanish. Let's go. Hi, hi guys. How are you? Hi, Elias Wilbur. Hi. Um, what do you think? What is the what is our business? <laughs> uh, I was thinking in in items technology. Yeah. I don't know what what are you thinking about? Um, uh, is a cell phone or, or or a watch, a smart watch? Uh, items. I don't know. Cell oh. phones, uh, watches, smart watch, anything. We gonna sell the devices or the accessories for the devices. Uh, both. 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 Okay. Um we go we are the retail? Yeah. Yes, we are retailers. Uh, what is the second question? Uh, why why uh, um, we are going to be the retailers? Mm. Well, uh, because we are now manufacturers, so we need the product uh, uh, to sell them. To sell the product. Mm, yeah. Could be... Shoes or clothes? Um, no. For you, Carlos. Uh, shoes or, or uh, for example, uh, uh, the product, the boutique. Yes, uh, we can be a result. Yes. We have that we use the product of clothes. 
or 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 any product easy for example shoes but uh, we are going to create the clothes or we are going to buy the clothes and then we are going to sell a customer uh, uh, the, the manufacturing and direct the direct sales and store then we are going to buy the clothes and then we are going to sell the customer yes Okay. Um, desserts. Desserts. Like postres. Sounds good. Yes, I, I agree. Not, not only one cakes. Yes, desserts, eggs, muffins, etc. Desserts. The second uh, question. Like this, I don't know if desserts is right correctly. Um, let me. Yes, yes, yes. desserts. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. The second question is. We have to choose a the distribution channel. Yes. Uh, okay. I think personal directly uh -huh. i think we can use a direct channel direct, direct we, channel is a good hmm? yes because we manufacture the the, the, the product and we sell direct with the with the customer but maybe we can we i don't know uh, we the can retail, retail retail channel uh, maybe yes we can retail maybe with with the supermarkets like mm. like uh super selectos and and okay. sell we their will have two channels we will have two channels maybe, yes maybe we can have two two distribution channels distribution channels yes like Sinai. Ah yes, yes. Direct channel. Well, in this in this case, we we will have the. Uh, ah, se me olvida el verbo en futuro. What? Ah, uh, the. We have two channels in this case. Yes. Okay. Oh yes. We made the product. Uh, I don't know how how to say the, the other fruit. Lemon. Like, uh, watermelon, uh, watermelon. 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 Yeah. Yes. Uh, pineapple. Uh, we I I mix uh, many many fruit. Yeah. Uh, the people like my yeah, always. It's yes, delicious. Uh, the, for the, me, the mix. Yes, I, I like I like so much the fruit. I think this is a good good business. Mm, yeah, know. yeah, yeah, but. Uh, mm, you you have uh, to find to find the correct place to sell yes. the the use for example i, I don't know uh, 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 we, we can we can choose all other other business i know uh, i know uh, i know the eco furniture Keep it simple, everybody, because you have the time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Keep it simple. That <laughs> that product is fine. I mean, like a furniture. So will yeah. you manufacture? I mean, will you make the furniture or will you sell the product? Uh, I think we had to make. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's easy. interesting. Okay, yeah. you will be the manufacturer. Now, let me yes. ask you, will you sell your product to some stores or will you sell the product directly to the customer? In this case, I think we, 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 we can make the furniture mm -hmm. and we can sell uh, the customer. Direct. Direct okay. to the customer. Or, yeah. or, or customer uh, maybe uh, can can be hotels. Mm, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's customers, Hotel. yeah. So in that customer. case, by what, by what by kind? Customer. That's the idea. Yeah. Okay, in that case, what is the distribution channel? Direct uh, channel. You direct see? channel. You already have the answers. Pretty do, good do you, job. Do you, know, do you know why? Because... Uh, is more profit. 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 Uh -huh. profit. Yeah. Because it's direct. Yeah. No, don't be intermediary. Don't be intermediary. That and is the idea. You can put the best uh, price. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what I want to listen. Very good job. Okay. okay. One more minute and then we go back to the main room. Okay. 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 Mm. Um, in a store and um, um, social media. But do you, I, I, I don't understand. Do you want to uh, have a retailer store or do you want to uh, have a business about new cell phone? Whole cell phone, different, different brand. No, in a specific brand. Okay, everybody, do you finish? Because time's up. Not yet. <laughs> okay, yes. two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes, okay? Okay. 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 Uh, I agree with Osman. Okay. And you? Uh, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I uh, understand that. Do you want to uh, have a new retail channel uh, where you can buy uh, differently, no, different cell phone of different brand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Characteristic different uh, competition. Mm -hmm. uh, we store is a opportunity a credit. For example, it's a different other company, other other retail. It's for example, or idea. I uh, I want to understand. Uh, we we roll will be retailer. Yeah. Okay, and the channel, retail channels. Retail channel, yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, mm. Yes. Okay. Um, and, the and time's up. We have to go back to the main room, everyone. Okay. okay. Okay, very good. Okay, time's up. Let's go back for everyone. Some of you, if some of your classmates are still in the breaker rooms, let's wait for them. Only I return. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it takes some time for the other ones, but let's wait for them. Time's up, time's up, everybody. Let's go back. Let's see, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? It's easy, teacher. Interesting. But, 
Uh, is there easy and interesting, but I need more time. I know, guys. I know. Because, but remember, because, that, well, if because, you want, we can continue until midnight. <laughs> imagine the uh, the exercise is is imagine. Mm -hmm. In in this case, we 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 need more time. In more time. Yeah, and I know. I life, know. In the real life, <laughs> we need a long time to decide. Exactly. I know. It's difficult. So, it it's is. Difficult. Big, big, because uh, many people don't don't don't, don't know uh, what is the the key uh, the pro the, the product key or, ah very uh, good uh, but now guys you already know a little bit how to start your own business so those are some things that you have to consider but well we are going to start presenting the information let's start with the team number one in the team number one i have Carlos Alberto, Edwin Antonio, and Eulice Torres. I will be asking individually. So, Carlos, Carlos Alberto, what is the product? Only the product. Tell me. Carlos Alberto, are you there? Okay, Edwin, Edwin Antonio, tell me, what is the product that your classmates pick? Yes, the product is a spare word. Mm -hmm. And will you manufacture the product or not? Yes, ah. we are going to manufacture the goods and sell it too. Okay, okay. In that case, Elisa, tell me what kind of distribution channel will you use? Well, we're going to uh, agree with direct uh, channel. Mm, why? Because um, we create uh, the product uh -huh. and sell the customer. Oh, yes. Oh, uh -huh. more or less. Okay, so that's good one. If you see, guys, they make the product and then they sell the product directly to the customers. I like that. Very good job, team number one. I like it. Okay, team number two. In the team number two, I have Kevin, Pamela, and Rafael. Pamela, tell me, what is the product? The product is uh, desserts. We have a bakery. Oh, that sounds delicious. Okay, Can tell me. Uh huh. Can I present? Of course, do it. Ah, look at this. I like it. Okay, PRK. Is that because of your names? Yes. <laughs> All right. I liked it. Okay, Rafael. It's a secret. <laughs> okay, Rafael, explain me. What is your function in the business? Will you be the manufacturer or the wholesaler or the seller? What is your function in the business? Um, we are the manufacturing and um, retailer too. All right, interesting. Yes. Okay, so Kevin, what kind of distribution channels will you use? We will use a uh, two ha two two distribution channels. Um, the first distribution channel will be the direct channel because mm. we will manufacture the the cakes, muffins, and other products and sell okay. the Hold to direct consumers. Ah, that's interesting. I like it. Okay, Pamela, explain me the second. Why you will also use retail channel? Because we, we also sell the product to uh, many supermarkets to reach the consumers. Mm, okay, that was interesting. Thank you, Tim. Very good job. 
So you see guys, in this scenario also you can be, you can have different functions, right? Interesting job, I like it. Okay, unfortunately we don't have more time, but no worries because tomorrow I will continue listening the rest of the groups, okay? I already have the information, the people who was in the other teams. So team number three, four and five, you will present the information tomorrow. So try to connect on time, please, because that is the first things that we are going to do. Understood? Okay. Excellent. Okay. Don't, don't forget the information so you can write it down. Now, guys, as always, we have a winner that has to stay today. And the winner is Boris. <laughs> it's not going to take so much time. No worries. Okay, everybody, the rest of you, you can go to sleep. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay, buddies. I know you are tired. I know. <laughs> Yesterday was your day, but because you weren't here, you have to pass today. <laughs> okay, this little meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have. Okay, just to talk a little bit. So tell me, how do you feel the classes so far? Um, um, it, uh, uh, for me, uh, it's, uh, it's hard for the, 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 the com uh, understand, comprehend? Com com Compensation. Uh, com Comprehension. Yes, and yes, compensation. Uh -huh. the, 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 the only word, uh -huh. words, words, I, I, uh, I need to uh, learn the, the vocabulary. Uh -huh. um, so you don't find the words sometimes yeah yes i i i is a um is a for the 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 idea idea uh -huh. idea idea is a and yes and that happens don't get frustrated yo creo que eso les pasa a todos right and so no se me vaya a frustrar uh, i have a question if i'm speaking uh, if i'm giving the instruction if i'm explaining the class do you understand what i say uh, uh, I'm sorry. How do you say? Eh, alguna, alguna, a, 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 algunas palabras? Yes. Or... I, 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 algunas. Okay. Yes, uh, algunas palabras. Some words. Some words. Some ah. words. Some words is a uh, is a uh, for the. Uh, I uh, I listen in the 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 group is uh i go to go in the for the the idea the main idea exactly main idea. and that happens um como este ya es un nivel intermedio 4 la idea es hablarles full english en toda la clase however yo entiendo que a veces es como híjole no entiendo right o posiblemente el vocabulario es complicado por eso yo trato la manera de irles como por ratitos metiéndoles un poquito spanish aunque honestamente a estas alturas ya no se tendría que hacer however como usted mismo lo mencionó no es necesario entender toditita las palabras Right? Basta con tomar como la idea principal, the main idea. All right? So, yeah. le recomiendo eso. Tratemos de al menos entender la idea principal. And please, cuando algo no me lo entienda, si la explicación no me lo entiende, tell me. So I can repeat again. Puedo tratar de explicarlo de una manera diferente o usar otras palabras para que sí me pueda entender, pero no nos vayamos a quedar con la duda. 
Ok. Y, y necesito también a ir a, a, a afinar un poquito el, el oído, porque yes. tal vez ya he escrito o, o he escrito la palabra, la entiendo, pero al, al sonido todavía no me acostumbro. Como que tenemos que familiarizarnos un poquito más. Un poquito más sí, uh -huh. así es. And that is, that is with the practice. All right. Entre más lo practiquemos, es como que se nos va a ir haciendo mucho más fácil. Now, con el speaking, el speaking cuesta y eso nos pasa a todos. No encontramos las palabras, nos cuesta organizar las ideas. I know, but with the practice too. Así que eh, no quiero que se me vaya a quedar callado en la clase porque ay, no, no sé cómo decirlo. No, at the contrary, si nos cuesta el speaking, ese es el que más tenemos que practicar. Así que si me hace una mezcolanza entre speaking English and Spanish, it's Spanish. okay. Yes, do it. No importa, hágalo. Prefiero eso a que se me vaya a quedar callado. Ok. Sí, yo, yo estoy, eh, bueno, tengo la plataforma y ahí voy diariamente con Duolingo, una lección, <risas> ahí, pero y aprendo palabras, pero ya a la hora de como que se me... Como que me pongo un poquito nervioso y mm. me cuesta volver a armarla. Yes, that happens. Y bueno, estamos iniciando, pero esperemos que con el transcurso de las clases ya no nos pongamos nerviosos, sino que agarremos más confianza. Y como le digo, little by little, pero no se me vaya a frustrar, no se me vaya a quedar callado. No, siempre tratemos la manera de participar, aunque nos trabemos, no matter, do it. Ok, ok. Ok, thank you. <laughs> Very good. Ok, eh, no sé si tiene una duda o algo más. Eh, más que todo, bueno, en español, eh, con lo de certain, certainty y uncertainty. Uncertainty. Eh, uh -huh. ajá, eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia o en qué momento se usa cada, cada uno? Ok, con lo de la certainly, right, básicamente es cuando estemos seguros de lo que estamos diciendo. Por ejemplo, si usted está seguro que mañana va a ir a trabajar, entonces podemos usar todas las frases de certainly. ¿Ok? Digamos okay. que para decir que voy a ir a trabajar, estoy 100% seguro, podemos usar todas estas. Ok. Todas. Cuando usted no se sienta seguro sobre algo, entonces vamos a usar estas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Digamos que yo le pregunto, mire, ¿y qué va a ser el fin de semana? Es miércoles, posiblemente no tengamos planes para el fin de semana aún. Entonces, como no me siento muy seguro, solo tengo una idea de lo que probablemente voy a hacer, entonces voy a usar estas. Possibly, apparently. Ok. Uh -huh. yes. Aparen, apparently, I, I go, I will go to the veterinary. Very good. That's a good sentence. En este caso, si me usa apparently, es solo una possibility, right? No estamos 100% seguros que de verdad vamos a ir al veterinary. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Uh, is it clear? Uh, well, the, porque también, no sé, depende si el clima va a estar lluvioso, ¿verdad? Exactly. Por ejemplo, ahorita que... Ajá. Imagine, no, okay. si yo le pregunto, ¿va a llover el domingo? Mm. ¿Qué frase podríamos Probable. usar? Probable. Exactly. Probably. No podemos estar 100% seguros. Así que cuando estemos dudosos, son estas frases las que vamos a usar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ahora, Thank you. Hoy sí, ya entendí. Excellent. Bueno, That's the idea. <laughs> Very good Gracias. job. Okay, so, well, we are going to stop right here. Thank you, Boris, for your time. Go to sleep, have a rest, <laughs> and we are you. see you tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.